Well, Ray, well, you were looking at uh, my half-made necklace. We're almost <laughs> done it. And I actually, well, with the help of Trish the Ferris, <laughs> added this little braided part on. And thanks again for joining us. And you're a jewelry designer here. So show me what's the next step in order to complete this necklace. So the, just the last part, you're going to imitate this in a miniature form. So you just want it to be a little bit shorter to add a little bit of texture and variety to the necklace. So we're just going to make one of these in a shorter version. Okay. So now that we have this part made, we're just going to make a loop and then a we'll loop. start beating. Okay? All right. I'll maybe get you to do the loop because that seems a little bit complicated. <laughs> okay. And I'll get you to tell me about your line. You started this as a hobby and has kind of turned into, you know, being a quite successful for you. Well, yeah, I, I, I do it more so because I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, like I say, I'm a hairdresser by trade, so I guess having an imagination and uh, being a bit artsy, a little bit of creativity helps. So, uh, and we're looking at your line right now, and these are some of the pieces that you'll find here at Park Avenue Expressions. Uh, beautiful stuff. Where do you find the inspiration? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, uh, fashion, obviously, but uh, a lot of times I'll just find a, a stone or. Uh, a piece of metal and use it as your centerpiece and then of course you build, Everything build upon that, right? Just like there. anything in art, right? Okay. So I'm getting distracted so here by all the jewelry <laughs> in the store. <laughs> I have to concentrate it's on very finishing my piece. Here. <laughs> yes. Okay, so okay. we're going to put our pink stone. So we just add it on. We're just literally going to string it on. Okay. And then we're going to add one of these. It's a little jewel. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, it's going to have a little bling. And I'm seeing we have lots of tools. These are very handy when making jewelry. Well, yes, because it's, it's very meticulous, so you, your fingers are too big. So you're going to add one of those, and then we're going to wrap the metal a little bit to give us a little texture. Okay. So you're going to take this mm -hmm. and just hold it on, and then wrap the metal two or three times around. Around that little piece. Yep. Okay. Just like that? Just, yep. Fold it nice and tight. Interesting. Okay. okay, so once you get it wrapped around, yep. then we're going to pull out the tool. Oh. And then you got yourself a little squiggly thing. Yeah, a little oh, fun piece, that's right? Cool. Just adds a little texture wow. and it just gives you that. Oh, yeah, the little squiggles we see there. Yeah. It's very random and abstract, which makes it very easy to do. And it's. Uh, and now this piece is almost completed. And like <laughs> I'll get you to finish it because okay. you're probably a lot faster than I would be <laughs> as it took me forever to make the little braided loop That's and right. uh, we can also find all your pieces online as well so shopping yes, online is a on huge Park component of this yep. of this store here yes. fantastic and your website is parkavenueexpressions.ca so if you want to check out all this beautiful jewelry uh, you can also head to the shop here in brockville or you can go to their website for all their fabulous finds and trish i can't wait to walk out with this beautiful necklace it's absolutely <laughs> stunning thanks so much for having us here today we had an absolute you're blast. welcome